what I want to know is how we end this here therapy. And the problem's going to be solved in a couple weeks or two, so uh, i got to sign something or what? No, oh, the Mexicans, they got to move out. Dolly finally came to her right mind, gave them their walking papers. So now no more parties every night, no more live music, no more problem. Dolly and me, we can get along, all right? It was putting them foreigners in the mix that uh, got us in the mess in the first place. But my friend Owen, he's got a daughter, and I guess uh, her and her husband are moving in, I reckon. They're having a baby soon, and uh, they're decent folk. But yeah, I guess a uh, baby screaming at 2 a.m. in the morning, is not uh, that's not too good, is it? Hmm, maybe I ought to talk to Dottie about that. But at least Barney and Jenna, they're gone. They're going to have every relative in the USA pulling up in the beat-up vans and station wagons loading up. I mean, it's their own fault, right? I mean, Barney, he, he's lying to his wife about owning Dottie's house and all. And then last week, we was all over Dottie's house, right? We were all watching TV and having a drink or two. And it wasn't long before Barney brought up the thing about, you know, me telling him about him not renting the house. And before you know it, Barney, he got real mad. Well, as mad as Barney gets. You know what's funny? I always heard the Mexicans had real bad uh, tempers, you know, real bad tempers. But Barney, he's not sort of what you think for a Mexican. He ain't got no guns, he don't fight, no nothing. Well, when Barney started blaming me for not owning the house and all that, Jenna, she went, she went kind of crazy on his ass, blaming him for lying to her. She's the new one that needs to be in therapy, not me and maybe not Barney. Well, Dottie, she probably likes being here. You know, she got an audience of one for 30 minutes. Yeah, well, when Jenna started jumping on Barney about owning the house and all, and I told her to lay off. You know, a man's got to stick up for another man. It's kind of a code thing. Well, then, Jenny, she turned on me like a wild corner wildcat, calling me all kind of Mexican names nobody understood. But one name I did get was Redneck. And nobody called me a Redneck except Owen. Kind of like a white man can't call him, you know, a colored fellow. Well, you know what I mean. But another colored fellow can't. They ought to get the right about the N-word. You see, here in Panther County, never went out, really went out of style. Sometimes you didn't mean nothing bad by saying it. Sometimes you did. <clears throat> Jenna called me a Redneck, and then Dottie, she jumped on Jenna. Man, I've seen her mad before, but I had never seen her like this. She turned plum red and started shaking like a hoochie cooch dancer. I had to pick her up and take her out on the porch. I was kind of surprised she took up for me like that. Well, you know, like I said, I guess I think she always regretted leaving me like she did. But, you know, you know how women are.